Good morning, dear friends. Hello on Friday, the 4th of October. And uh, also Venus Day. Friday is always Venus Day. And uh, interesting enough, today we also have uh, Venus having exact trine with Saturn. And this is going to be one of the important themes of the day, of course. Uh, during this day, it's very positive for us to try to focus on having more control uh, on our personal life, our emotions, our feelings, how we interact with our closest people, especially romantic relationships. And uh, the other positive direction to focus on is uh, finances and money. Our personal resources are also resources that are related to other people. So money and uh, interaction exchange, basically what is our attitude or even better, what is our relationship to money? Because Venus is in Scorpio and this is the sign which is also related to mutual resources or even like other like deeper resources. So the trine with Saturn can allow us to become more realistic, to become more focused, more objective, and more in control. Uh, that includes also our desires, not necessarily related to money or relationships, but all types of um, desires, uh, especially if there are some kind of deep, obsessive, uncontrollable um, very subconscious desires or impulses, which is absolutely normal for Scorpio and Venus in Scorpio. Uh, today's trine with Saturn can help us to, first of all, look at this more, you know, as a fact. Because first, uh, the first step which will bring you a little bit of the balance is not to be again, like in the storm of those, let's say, desires, impulses, or uncontrollable emotions, not to, you know, like notice them and get even more upset or uh, triggered by this, but just to see it as a fact. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so here is how it is for me. I have those impulses, it seems like they are controlling me, or something is going on in my relationships, or uh, when it comes to money, or my own desires, and to recognize a little bit from the outside, this storm that maybe you're not really in control of. But once you can notice this as something separate, you already have a point of control, which could be Saturn. Saturn helping us in this situation. So uh, from this perspective, the aspect is uh, very supportive for at least making the first step towards gaining this control over our desires, things related to relationships, and overall money. Uh, let's not forget that Mars is also trining the two planets. So basically, we still have this uh, grand trine between the three planets in water signs. So especially related in affecting our emotions, deeper layers, and um, kind of like more subconscious things. Uh, the other thing is uh, which triggers even more the Scorpio energy is the fact that the moon is moving to Scorpio as well. In the US, it's starting from the morning in Europe around noon, but pretty much, yeah, the whole day will be colored by this Scorpio energy. From one side, Venus in Scorpio, trining Saturn, but also the moon moving there. Tomorrow on Saturday, Saturday this energy will be even more uh, intense because the moon will also get to the to Venus to exact conjunction with Venus. Today it's like um, getting near this or getting closer to it. So when the moon is in Scorpio, those are uh, usually the most intense days during the month, and um, overall there could be some kind of tension or more intensity than usual. Uh, usually we feel this in interaction with other people. People could be more tense or suspicious or uh, sometimes there could be more conflicts. And overall, our state can also be 
a bit more intense than usual or sometimes much more intense than usual. It's not always a bad thing, by the way. Uh, sometimes this energy could be uh, helping us to focus, commit, dedicate to something. So that's actually also one of the solutions. If you don't want to boil in all of this and, you know, like, just stay with this tension and intensity. Uh, the way out is to focus on something concrete and to really commit, to dedicate your full attention. It's nice also to focus on something physical, any physical practice, uh, going to the gym, yoga. Uh, I'm going for Pilates, for example. But um, the more intense the practice is, usually the better, of course, always considering your own physical well-being. Uh, so either something more intense or something which is related to energy work. So again, yoga would be great or the other, let's say, martial arts or something which is also um, working not only with the physical level, but also with uh, the energy level. So... Um, Intense, interesting day in front of us. Uh, I hope that we will be able to find a constructive way to use this energy. Ah, also, I wanted to show you something quite interesting. Um, look at this configuration here. So the three outer planets, Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus, which have this, we call this uh, bisextile configuration, which has been there for a bit of like a few weeks already, almost like a couple of months, actually. Um, but what's interesting is that now the sun is also part of this configuration, specifically today. It's not a kite configuration. It used to be a kite when the sun was in Virgo and it was trining Pluto and Uranus. So the kite is very uh, strong configuration, which also brings focus, moving in certain direction. Uh, now it's a bit like a distorted kite. Look at the sun. It has a square and a half with Uranus and another creative aspect, quintile and a half with Pluto. But it's a bit of an even kite. So instead of the sun being in Virgo, which would be very balanced, you know, like, like this, like a pyramid moving in a concrete direction kite, now the kite is like this. Can you see this? Like it's turned one side, which is also very interesting. It means that our focus is like leading us in certain direction, but it could be more difficult to balance things when it's, a you know, like the traditional kite configuration, which it used to be a couple of weeks ago, not that long ago. Um, it was more like, aha, uh -huh, okay, we kind of like have a more clear focus or something was a bit more balanced. Now there is an impulse to go somewhere, but it's more uneven, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We just need to be aware of this, that there could be an impulse which seems to be leading us in certain direction. And... Um, this need to bring back some kind of balance can also be very important. So also another interesting perspective for specifically for today. So hope you are going to have a great time today and I will see you tomorrow.